Shalom, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you sincere. I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, and I'm the brother Shaman of Great Millstone Chicago. Uh, real quick, because hey, this was this this conversation uh, through the spirit was very important. That happened uh, about a year ago. Uh, vocab, you know, went to the different camps and you know tried his best to confound the word and completely failed. All right, uh, was it, we went to Houston, Dallas, uh, Chicago, New York. <laughs> Which that shit is still amazing. Now he's you know doing videos on Sarnetta, right? Because he's trying to get you know the attention uh, of uh, uh, of uh, so-called Black Native American and Latino people, right? And trying trying to rile them up to turn on on uh, us when you know we already know that that's going to happen according to the scriptures, man. Love the world is going to hate us, right? even though they're not. Uh, seeking their own salvation, just like the scripture says, seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. Right, and then they put a new video up on Vocab's channel. Uh, like these one West guys are not very nice, or something to that extent. And basically, what brothers were doing on that video, scripture says, set a mark upon the men that sigh and that cry. All right, so we're, we were, they were bringing out certain points against Esau. Okay. Does the scripture say what? In the land of their captivity, there they should remember. Well, let's get that. As a matter of fact, let's get it. And uh, here it is, Baruch 2. And, man, when you really read through the scriptures, it's just, it's no way, shape, or form that this is not talking about so called black, so called Latino, so called Native American people. All right. And then you have the. Uh, speckled bird Israelites were scattered worldwide, who this applies to as well. All right, but the, the the people in Babylon here, <laughs> man, this is the this is the worst kingdom in the history of this planet. All right, which that doesn't you know downplay the Israelites who are worldwide because you have brothers, you know what I'm saying, waking up everywhere else too. All right, this, but this is Baruch too, and. Thirty. It said, "For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves." All right, and that's what happened, man. The Lord had us to wake up, and he, he he stirred up that spirit, which that's what the Lord does. He stirs up certain things. All right, certain information. You know what I'm saying? People credit themselves. I discovered this. No, it was the Lord that gave you that. All right. Hey, the, the scriptures say the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. He turneth it whatever, whichever way he will. All right, and that goes for regular men too. Yep, they shall remember themselves and, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of captivity and think upon my name. And why Why are the, uh, the people in, in modern day Israel, why do they not praise the name? Why are they not making... His true name known upon the earth, right? We said, and we go out and we ask Jake, well, what's the real name? What's the real name? And we get all 20 different answers, you know. Well, this is the name, and everyone is wrong, all right? Why are they not making the, the name of the Heavenly Father his son? Why are they not making those, uh, uh, the, 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 <laughs> they're not making those names, they're not exalting those names is what I'm trying to say, Salaki, for my, my stumbler. But they're not exalting those names. All right, those names should be famous. Everybody should know that instantly. All right, just like your your favorite musician or somebody who's you know famous or whatever. No, those should be the most famous names on this planet, and they will be. All right, but vocab alone, he doesn't care about it because he he doesn't teach the name. I right, I've never, I don't think I've ever heard him. He he might have said it to try to to. Uh, Downplay, you know, our, our, uh, uh, downplay the uh, Lashawan Kodash, which that's the uh, holy tongue. All right, but he doesn't promote the name either. All right, but I'm going to just let this part play. Just showing you 
you know, who the spirit is dealing with and who is not. Judah was still 12,000. Judah! Of the tribe of Reuben was still 12,000. Right. Of the tribe of Gad was still 12,000. These are Israelites. Right. So this is the elect. These are the top right. priests. So how many Seminoles do you know who are in the truth? And <laughs> he said, how many Seminoles do you know that are in the truth? Which that was a dumb question, all right? And this just goes to show you how Esau sees our people, how they try to count us and they try to, you know, use analytics and uh, there are this many brothers in this camp, this many brothers in that camp, uh, this many brothers in this camp, you know, so that adds up to this number. So that means, you know, for them to get 144,000, they'll have to be teaching for another three years. Then, you know, two years from now, we're going to come, you know, you know, all this uh, extra shit which Esau tries to do, all right, to, to stop the truth, to try to stop, you know, the children of the Lord from uh, receiving, you know, from uh, being uh, uh, exalted up, all right, and, and receiving our birthright, which is uh, control of the earth, all right, rule over the whole earth, all right, but it's not going to work, man, because everything is based off of what the Lord gave you. That's why the scriptures tell us, the Israelites have said, uh, uh, it was, uh, was it, is it, I believe it's in Sirach, it tells you, think not things above you, basically. Let me get, let me get that, matter of fact, let me get that. Go straight to it. Okay, here it is, Sirach 3 and 21. All right, seek out not, seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. All right, and. Even with this one, the Lord said he was going to scatter us across the four corners of the earth. All right. And that's for every tribe. All right. Not just the tribe of Judah. Not just Benjamin, Levi. That's what the northern kingdom as well. All right. They're scattered across the four corners of the earth. Hell, I, I work with a dude. He's um, Filipino. But you can clearly see through the spirit, you know, he's northern kingdom. I, I think he might be... Uh, Issachar, but that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? He might be Issachar, but who knows? But he's clearly an Israelite. All right, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a ask him where he's from. I bet he says, uh, I believe one of the islands is called Negrito. All right, but anywho, yeah, it's not your business. Who, who, who comes from where, who's where. See, and that's another thing, too. These Edomites all think that, uh, you know, the, the uh, Reubenites, are gonna be standing there with feathers on their heads and you know what I'm saying dancing around with a, a leather sweatsuit a leather leather jumpsuit <laughs> no man they're, they're right amongst you okay with woolly hair braids gold teeth all, all the stuff that Jake likes all right that's just the tribes are mingled together <laughs> all right you don't know who's who you know what I'm saying unless until you get a chance to examine somebody's spirit and then you know certain a lot of different brothers can discern it and, you know, but then sometimes you can't, right? But you know, he's, he's Jake, but you might, you know, you know, brothers might try to be uh, figuring out the specifics, all right? But at the end of the day, man, we're going to know in the kingdom what tribe we're from, all right? We're going we're gonna to know what, in the kingdom, you know, the, 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 the specifics, okay? We're gonna know what our true name is too. You're gonna to get your, 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 your the Lord's. You're gonna get a new name in the kingdom, a new body and a new name. All right, and this is all through the spirit. And these Edomites, they again, they want to control it. They want to be able to write it down. Let's see, which this is a simple one. All right, because if you know about the Reubenites, they kicked Esau's ass. Okay, that's what Dade County is named after. Uh, one of the generals of. Uh, from uh, one of those Edomite generals, General Day, which he got his ass whooped by the Reubenites. Right? The Reubenites was bad, man. They they beat the dog shit out of uh, Esau when he went into Florida. All right? But then eventually, they, they didn't make any treaties with Esau, but then eventually, you know what I'm saying, they, they had the treaty with Esau because he was doing a lot of dirty shit. Right? He would come to your village and kill all your, your wives and children and all. You know, poison the water to try to kill you and all this other shit. All right, but basically they ended up treating, and a lot of those Seminoles they had to walk uh, the trail of tears as well. They they had to leave. They made an agreement, you know, what I'm saying to to leave, uh, and the, and the surrender, and then 
a lot of them just left, right? And knowing Reuben, the scriptures say Reuben is unstable as water, right? They went all kind of directions. You had some who went to Mexico, some who went to California and, you know, north, the Northeast. You don't, you don't know where they went. They were scattered, right? <laughs> they were scattered. <laughs> See, Esau, they want to know the exact numbers. That's why they do this wicked census shit. They want to know the exact numbers of who's where, how many black people are here. And you go into some of these small towns like here in the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? These Edomites, they know exactly how many black people are in the town and what woman they deal with. And you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they keep a track of all of that, all right? They keep track of all of that to try to preserve themselves, all right? But that's just, it's the shit that ain't gonna work, man. That's why they want to put that chip in you so they can try to track us and shit. Nah. And, and don't take that chip, man. Don't take no chip and nothing for, for CV-19 and whatever excuse they give. No, we ain't doing it. All right. This is Baruch 4. It says, let's uh, jump right to the point. All right, because at the end of the day, man, this is the Lord's program. And, and one 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 monkey don't stop the show. It says, "What is it? I dropped it." Okay, brew four and fifteen. It says, "For he hath brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation." And this place is truly shameless, man. There's no shame in that game. These Edomites, a lot of them, they don't even know their own history of the dirty and the underhanded shit that they've done. All right? Poisoning water supplies and, and all of this extra shit. Poisoning your food supply. Okay? Slaughtering, you know, just, just sticking you with needles and trying to, uh, what's it called? Uh, make sure you can't reproduce. Okay? Injecting and testing different uh, fucking viruses and poisons and shit on us, right? Like they did in St. Louis where they uh, they actually had the military to uh, drop certain uh, chemicals over, you know, the areas where Jake was living at, all right? And then they wonder why the violence and all of that shit is so high because of those chemicals, man. Because of those chemicals which are still found, you know, in the water supply, on the old buildings and all of that shit. That stuff has never been cleaned off or or none of that. And then you got, even to this day, the chemtrails and shit in the sky, which they, they, they keep, you know, they do every day. All right? But, uh, it's, yeah, a shameless nation, man, shameless, and of a strange language. All right? You got all these different words, to, all these different words. You know, you got words which have double meanings, and you know that's Esau's forked tongue. It said, "Neither who neither reverence old man nor pity child." All right, and you Edomites, you sit here try to play this. Uh, you know, we support the children and community. These Edomites don't give a fuck about the community or the children, all right? or the old, like it says. They've slaughtered children before. They've slaughtered elderly. Okay, hey, they still had. To, on them farms, man, they still they they'll work you. If you was older, you still be in the field picking cotton. You still be doing manual labor, all right. Or oh, shit, if you if you got too old, they'll just sell you. They'll sell you off, all right, and get rid of you because you no longer got asset to them. You know, just as, just as like today, corporate America. All right, it says. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. But what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you would deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Exactly. And these Edomites, they're pissed off because they really thought that they could bring an end to us. They really thought that they could stop the inevitable from happening. They really believed that. All right? The Lord gave them a certain amount of power and wisdom. They really believed all of the stuff that they're doing. All right, the warping of the scriptures, the, the 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 actual physical, you know, military stuff that they got going on. They really believed that this stuff is all gonna stop what the heavenly Father has set up for the earth. 
right, which is laughable. <laughs> That's why he said, I will, I will laugh at your calamity. <laughs> All right, they really thought, hey, these, these, these Bible scholars and shit, they know their history of slavery and racism and, you know what I'm saying, how they, they use the scriptures, you know, as, as a, as a, uh, as a uh, means to try to keep people psychologically enslaved and they took parts out and edited parts and changed words around. They know the history of that. All right, vocab, vocab is well aware of that. All right, but they want to try to dodge that and then get what they'll do is like vocab he'll get jake's he'll, he'll actually get jake on there and then have them saying the shit and so now people believe it nah all right the truth is the truth man history is history can't fucking rewrite you know what actually happened this is what they did all right i'm gonna end on this man this is Sirach 36 like his vocab was talking about he also went on to say uh you know, all the Israelites on the earth, but they're all mixed. They're all, no, you are what your father is, all right? Even though your appearance might change, you are what your father is. Our, our fathers, if, if somebody's born across the world, guess what? And that, that, that they're of the seed of Israel, his fathers and my fathers are the same. All right? I'm not going to treat him any differently. <laughs> you know, if he's, if he's a brother now, you know what I'm saying? But you got, hey, you got niggas around the world too. <laughs> It says, Sirach 36 and 10, it says, Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. Damn, I thought the Lord was for everybody. That say, there is none other but we. And that's what these nations say. Look, we're next. We're next, man. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit them, thou, thou them, as from the beginning. Exactly. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them. That means they're still here, all right? And yeah, they're right up around you, all these different tribes, because <laughs> that's what they're mad about, and you don't know what tribe they're from. You don't know who they are. Guess what? They might look like you. They could be could, could be a so-called good Jewish kid just like you in your, in your neighborhood where you live at, where there ain't no niggas. And he could be an Israelite. And that's what's scary for them, man. They can't see. They can't stop it. They, they can't, you know, contain it, all right? All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Lord will is edifying, Shalom.